Running a marathon, who has the energy? Thousands of people running 26.2 miles, taking millions of steps along the way. It takes months or even years to prepare. It's no small feat getting your feet across that finish line. We wondered about the energy it takes to finish a marathon and what else you could do with that amount of energy. We asked researcher Dr. Peter Cavanaugh, an expert on biomechanics. He imagined a runner who weighed 154 pounds. The 154 pound runner needs about 3,000 kilocalories to run a marathon. The interesting thing about kilocalories, or as you know them, calories, is that they can be compared to energy contained in things like electricity and gasoline. Kavanaugh looked at some non-human activities and calculated what you could accomplish with the amount of energy used by someone running a marathon. How about cooking? Well, if you like hard-boiled eggs, the energy used by that runner could heat up enough water to boil 20 eggs. If converted to electricity, the energy used to run all those miles could power a 60-watt light bulb for more than two days. Just watching the marathon requires more energy than you might expect. There on the couch, you'd burn close to 300 calories by the time you finished watching the four-hour finishers. So you'd use about a tenth of the energy that the marathon runner herself is using. There are also plenty of things that involve far more than what it takes to run a marathon. For example, a gallon of gas has the energy equivalent of 11 marathons. So if you mow an acre of lawn on a riding lawnmower, the gasoline needed to power that mower equals 2.6 marathons. What about flying in an airplane? Well, the fuel burned by a 747 flying from New York to Seattle translates into more than 132,000 marathons. And if you jumped in a car to drive the 26.2 miles instead of running it, well, that would take the energy equivalent of 14.5 marathons. If only storing energy in your body were as easy as filling up your gas tank. Beyond the numbers, Kavanaugh also offered a philosophical view on why we run marathons in the first place. What we've done culturally is to isolate ourselves from physical challenges. The human uh, mind has an innate need to achieve great physical hurdles and that the marathon has become the challenge that, uh, that our culture has put out there. As much energy as it takes to run all those miles, it's really not that much compared to a lot of other things we do every day without breaking a sweat.